Hey guys, so Nick and I are headed on vacation. By the time that you're watching this video, I'll probably already be there. We're going to the Outer Banks, North Carolina with his whole family, and I couldn't be more excited about it. It is a very low-key vacation, like literally you just stay by the beach all day, there's a pool at the house, and we kind of just all hang out and lounge around. So it's literally like a vacation. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm bringing along. I'm bringing along very minimal makeup and jewelry, but I thought it would be kind of fun to still see what I'm taking. If you guys have seen my like packing travel travel packing videos in the past, you guys know I have a really hard time when it comes to taking minimal makeup. I usually go crazy overboard. I don't end up using half of the stuff that I brought. However, I do bring a lot because usually on the vacations that I've gone on in the past, you're constantly like going somewhere, doing something, sightseeing. So like there's different things I would want to get dressed up more dressy for versus this is the first vacation I've had in a long time where I'm really we're not really not going to be going anywhere. We might go out to dinner a couple nights during the week, but for the most part, we're just going to be in a house um, for the whole week. The, the houses down there are like MTV crib style. Um, I've seen pictures of our house online and it I just can't wait to get down there because it looks so pretty. But I thought it would be kind of cool to see the difference in how I pack for this trip versus like extravagant vacation like a cruise or something like that. So if you guys want to see what I'm taking with me um, makeup and jewelry wise keep watching. Okay so both of the cases that I'm bringing along are from Stella and Dot. I showed you guys these in a recent haul video. They're both in the ECAT print. I have the um, hang on in the navy ECAT and the bring it jewelry roll, roll in the red ECAT. So I'll show you the makeup first. Um, normally in the past when I've gone on vacations, I could never take a case this small. I usually have a big bucket case where I just throw a whole bunch of makeup into it. I've never actually been able to take like a, a hang on type of bag like this. So it opens up like this and you have a big pocket down here and then you have little pockets up top. So, and then it has a little hanger so you can hang it on the back of your door. So I'm just going to go through, I'll start with the big pocket at the bottom, which holds the most stuff. And in here I have my Benefit Stay Flawless Primer, my MAC Studio Fix Powder, and I'm in the color NC42. I just did a tutorial with both of these, so if you guys haven't seen that yet, I'll put it in the description box so you can check it out. I also have a little mini of the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. I usually always get one. Every time I've placed an order with Scandinavia, they always throw in a little mini travel size, which is great because otherwise that bottle is huge. I'm also taking my Vitazing by Origins, and I'm going to break open this baby. This is the MAC False Lashes. I haven't used it yet. It's a brand new tube of mascara. I can't wait to try that. As well as the Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I had so many people recommend this to me when I was asking about a good alternative to the Jordana Fabu Liner. I have not used this yet, but I'm so excited. I would say like... 85% of the comments in that video recommended this over any of the other ones. So I can't wait to try that. And that's the only liner that I'm taking for the whole trip. I'll show you the brushes last. And then moving up into the middle pocket, I'm just taking one eyeshadow palette. This is the Nude Awakening palette from Wet n Wild. It's just basically a neutral palette with some smokier colors if we do go out one night. But for the most part, they're all pretty neutral brown, shimmery taupes. Perfect. This is all that I'm taking four eyes and and then I'm still I'm still using the Smooth Harmony Beauty Powder um, as my bronzer. I'm determined to finish this up so I thought with one week of doing makeup with only just this I'm bound to make some some more silver pans show up in this little compact so hopefully I'll be done with this soon and then moving up top to the two individual po pockets up here in one I have MAC Charcoal Brown Eyeshadow, and I use this only for my eyebrows, and you can just tell, hoping by the end of the trip this will be gone too. There's very little left around the edges. My concealer, which is the Hourglass Hidden Concealer, and I'm in the shade Warm. I use that for under my eyes and also on my face. And then one eye base, which is the Laura Mercier Eye Basics in the shade Wheat. This is another product that's getting very low, um, so hopefully I will be done with this. It's so, it's kind of fun to pack for a week vacation and take minimal makeup because when I'm home, I have so much of different things that I'm constantly like, I'll use this base one day and this base one day and this bronzer one day and another bronzer on a different day. But by only taking one product, you really can, you know, use the product for that whole week and because you don't really have any other options. So that in that aspect, I kind of like taking minimum makeup. 
then again, like you don't really have too many options of how to do your makeup. And then the last little pocket is my blushes, and I'm only taking two. And I'm taking one cream and one powder. So I'm taking Laura Mercier Lush Nectarine. And I like this because it's tiny and it's compact and fits perfect. And this is a new product. I have a haul video that I will post after vacation um, with some new makeup from Sephora. In that will be the Stila, Stila Eyeliner and this, which is the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Jelly. And I haven't used this yet, but I'm going to take this down to the beach. And I got it in the color Poppy Paradise. So I could either use this by itself or it'll layer nicely under the Lush Nectarine. So that is it for makeup. Pretty impressive, right? You guys should be proud of me. And then my brushes, I'm taking my little Sigma Travel Roll. And in here, I am taking... These are the brushes that I'm taking. So I have a bunch of eye brushes because I'm not taking any kind of cleanser, cleaner, spot cleaner. Um, cause I'm only going for a week and I don't even know that I'll be doing my makeup every day. If I'm like at the beach, I'm not going to be doing makeup. So a bunch of crease brushes, a Sigma E25, I'm taking two of those, a Sigma E60 flat shader, a tapered blending E35. This is a Laura Mercier eye crease, Laura Mercier ponytail crease brush, little pencil brush from MAC 219 and the Sigma E45 blending. So these are all my eye brushes, which I think should be enough for that. Oh wait, no, I have two more, sorry. Um, this is a MAC travel size 224 and an E45 small tapered. And I, I, there's a couple in here that I could just use for my eyebrows, probably the pencil brush just to fill in my brows. And then my three face brushes that I'm taking, this one is not a travel size, but it fits in here. It's the e.l.f. powder brush. I'm gonna use this for my Studio Fix powder. The Flawless Face Brush from Bare Essentials. I don't love this. They're, this brush isn't the softest brush, but it's amazing for bronzer and even for blush. So I'm taking that and then a Small Contour F05. And I can use this um, just for my blush. I just realized I don't have a highlighter in here. I might need to take a highlighter. All right, so for a highlighter, I'm just going to take this little travel size high beam. Put that in here. Um, but I'm going to use this more so for blush. Uh, I'll use this for bronzer. So only two, well, technically three face brushes. That is it for my makeup. So everything fits in here absolutely perfectly. I actually even have room for more. Um, and like I said, it closes, which is nice. And I do have like my toiletries in a separate bag, like my shampoo, my conditioner, my daily moisturizer, um, my um, argon oil, like all that stuff I have in a separate toiletries bag and I'm mixing all of um, Nick's stuff in with my stuff too so I wasn't going to show you guys that. I did want to show you the perfumes that I'm taking because I'm not, um, these will be like in my toiletry bag with my shampoos and stuff and I'm taking two of them. These are my all time most favorite perfumes for summer. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess and Bobbi Brown Beach. You can see these as well. Um, I don't have much left. I should be done with these by the end of the summer. I will definitely be repurchasing these next summer. They are beach in a bottle and I always mix them and I just love them. The Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, um, I know every year Estee Lauder comes out with like a different version of this at the counters. I usually pick mine up like the original at the cosmetic company outlet stores. The Bobbi Brown Beach you can get both at Sephora and at Bobbi Brown counters but I love these. This is very like coconutty banana boat kind of smell and this is like just beach. Like I don't know how else to describe it. I have a whole video where I rave about this one, so I will link that in the description box in case you saw it. I think I filmed it last summer. But these are the two perfumes that I'm taking. I cannot be without them in the summertime, especially on a beach vacation. So I'm just putting the rest of the stuff in here. You're probably wondering about lip products. I'm only taking like two lip balms, which I'm gonna put in my beach bag. And other than that, I have a couple lip colors in my diaper bag, and those are the only lip colors I'm gonna be taking. Um, so that's why I don't have any lip products in here. But that is it. You can just see there's definitely room for more if I wanted to take it, but I think for the most part, that's pretty good for minimal travel makeup. So that's, this is my makeup. And then for my jewelry, again, this is the um, little jewelry roll and this is what I'm taking. So normally I would have this thing like chock full of jewelry. Um, 
but like I said, it's a minimal vacation. I'm going to be around the house, pool, beach most of the day. I did bring a couple pairs of fancier earrings, so I'll just show you those because I have like two outfits for if we go out to dinner. So I have the Lily Chandeliers from um, Cell and Dot, and I just brought these to match a mint um, like maxi dress that I'm taking. And then I just have studs. So I have my big pearl studs, my Tory Burch gold studs, and my Cell and Dot rose gold studs. These are always nice to just put on during the day. I'd even wear studs like to the beach. I just always have to have like earrings in my ears. Um, in this pouch, I have one necklace. Aside from my initial, my Helen Ficalora A necklace, I'm going to have that on and that will probably be on my entire vacation. I'm only taking that. And then this statement necklace, which is the Mercury from Stella and Dot. And I purposely brought the rose gold studs to go with it to match the rose gold studs on the necklace. The one outfit that I have picked out for dinner um, this necklace is going to go really well with. So I brought that, and it just fits really nicely in this pocket. Really cute design on the inside, too. You could easily fit more pieces in there. It's hard to have, like, such a nice case and not want to just fill it up with jewelry. And then in this pouch, um, and this is kind of like an upside-down secret hidden pouch, I have my Chelsea Charles bangles and my Stella and Dot Eden bangle. And I pretty much wear these just on a daily basis anyway. I don't really wear them to get dressed up. I just always have something on. My Cartier um, Love Bangle will always be on too. I don't really ever take that off. And then the only other bracelet I'm taking is the um, Renegade from Stella and Dot, the gold one. Just a spike elastic bracelet. In this pouch, another nice size pouch, I have my toilet earrings, the little clear quartz Again, just for, these are nice, like if you want to get, want to be a little bit more dressy, but you don't want to wear studs, these are nice in-between earrings, so I brought those. And then the last jewelry that I'm bringing, these little, my little dainty um, rings. So I have my Mary Margaret turquoise stone ring, this little turquoise ring that I got from ASOS, then I have my gilded arrow ring from Stella and Dot, and my love ring from Sydney Evans. Um, so just cute little dainty rings. And that's the only jewelry that I'm taking. Like I said, very minimal, minimal makeup and jewelry. So it will be nice when we get back. Very easy to unpack all of this stuff because I'm not bringing hordes of makeup and jewelry. So that's everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video. Um, I have some pre-recorded videos to kind of hold you guys over until we get back. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it a little bit helpful and enjoyable at the same time. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.